some people wonder how long is too long to keep working on the same book? Three years? Five years? More? Today I'm going to talk to you about three signs to look at in your own writing life that are telling you it's time to move along to the next project. All right, writing a book is hard work. I've talked about that before and it takes a long time. So I'm not saying that if you've been working on the same book for three years that you should move along, that that is too long. Everyone writes and works at a different speed. But if you have been working on the same book and sending it out to publishers and editors and etc. for that long, there are some signs. And so the first sign is, is if the story has lost its magic. Now, I am the type of writer that by the time I finish getting my story publish, publishing ready, meaning I have been through the manuscript six to 12 times, um, changing a little bit here and there, following editor's instructions, beta readers, la la la, um, I'm done. I am like, I hope I never see this story again. But a few years later, when I pick it up and read it, I go, oh yeah, this is a good story. So it's not that the story is bad, it's that I'm over it. I am done. I have reached the limit of where I can continue working on this for it to make progress forward. And sometimes that doesn't mean you abandon this story forever. Sometimes it means I need a break from this and so I'm going to set it aside and move to something else. And then when that project starts calling to me again, because that is what I have found about the projects that mean to be written, which is like the book that I'm releasing in May this year. It is a story that has seen three iterations and it needed to be written, but there was lots of months and even a years between the workings of that to get it to what it is now. The second sign that you need to abandon that book idea and move along is if you have been sending it out to agents and editors and getting no interest. So this is a hard one because maybe you believe in it. Maybe it's a good story, but if you're not getting a response, this is a good story. Um, it's just not right for my market. There's a problem with the book. Okay. And that doesn't mean you have to abandon it completely. You might need to hire a story coach. You might need to hire a developmental editor. Um, you might need to do some stuff to it, or maybe it is great. Maybe you have done those things and you have edited it to perfection and you just need to self publish it. Um, and then if you put it up there and there's still no interest, that's when you might know that, Hey, yeah, this story, there was something wrong with it that needed to be fixed. So, the story's lost its magic. The story is not getting interest from agents, editors, readers, whoever you've, you're sending it out to. And the, the third sign is the most important. Well, Sharon, if it's the most important, then why did you wait till last? Because I think it's the hardest one for us to, to see in our own lives. So that is, if you are not making progress on anything new, because all you can think about is this same old book. I've got to get it better. It's got to be better. I've got to get an agent for it. I need to get it published. So I don't have energy to write something new. I don't have any bandwidth to work on another project. And sometimes what I don't have is any belief in myself that I can write a good story because I have been working on this one for so long. I'm sending it out and getting no feedback. And so there must be something wrong with me because a lot of times that's where a writer's mentality goes right to there's something wrong with me. Not that it might not be the right time, place, people for my story. So if the story has lost its magic, it might be time to move on. If you're not getting any interest from agents, editors and readers and or readers, it might be time to move on. And if you are not able to write anything new because of your obsession with this story 
and it has been years. It's fine if you have that obsession for six months to a year, but if you have this obsession and it is keeping you from making, writing something new, continuing with your um, passion for telling stories, then it's time to set that book aside and remember what I said, it might not be forever. It might just be for a while, but your stories matter. And true writers have more than one story inside them. So don't let this book that doesn't seem to be going anywhere, keep you from telling all the stories.